Zillow founder, former CEO Spencer Raskov is with us uh, here on Squawk Alley. Spencer, it's great to see you again. Welcome back. Thanks, Carl. Great to be here, virtually. You can really, you can, yes, you can lead us in a couple of great directions. One is obviously on housing. Uh, the other is on tech. And I wonder, uh, on both of those fronts, are you seeing the fundamental recovery that would uh, ratify the kind of action we've seen in stocks? No. Um, you know, frankly, to <laughs> me, the, the, the market rally seems far ahead of itself uh, as compared with the underlying fundamentals of the economy from where I sit. And it, it, I understand why, right? The Fed has flooded the market with liquidity. Interest rates are so low. So in, institutional investors have reallocated out of, uh, out of fixed income into equities. Um, but if you're a, a, the average American sitting at home who on average doesn't own stocks, you've got to be saying to yourself, this disconnect makes no sense. And it's just further evidence that the game is rigged somehow, that this disconnect between Wall Street and Main Street is, is somehow untenable. Um, the underlying economy seems to have a lot of weakness to me. I, I don't trust um, this, the, the last jobs bounce that we saw last week. Um, and, uh, and the market rally just seems far ahead of itself. Interesting. I wonder, why don't you trust the jobs number? The only reason I ask is uh, Deutsche Bank has a, a chart out this morning about the uh, household survey. The response rate has plummeted. They think it's because uh, because of the pandemic, they're not able to do as many in-person uh, uh, survey measurements. But do you, yeah. what makes you think this jobs market, at least uh, the linearity, isn't positive? I saw that Deutsche Bank report this morning. That was really interesting, right? They survey, I think, seven months in a row, and people are no longer responding to surveys. So unclear if you can trust it as much as you used to be able to. Um, you know, it, it's just when I see these job numbers uh, of companies cutting back, I just I think a lot of those jobs are not going to return in the same way. Uh, companies are adjusting to the new normal. They're finding that they, you know, those that have reduced by 10, 20, 30 percent their headcount. They've cut projects that they weren't working on previously, and the companies are still doing okay, and they're going to find that they're much more profitable. So some of those jobs, obviously, are going to come back, but I, I think um, I think there's going to be kind of a structural reset in terms of at least in, in the sector that I focus on, which is tech, um, which is going to which which belies the market rally. 